Here, in these comments, I will discuss the concept of distribution function. So here, here what it is. Uh, for a measurable function on the measure space, finite or sigma finite measure space, the distribution function is a function which is given by the following definition. It's the measure of those points where a function bigger than given point x, and that's the function for different x, for different x, for different x, it will be different value. Uh, it is a rather straightforward observation that this is a function which is right continuous and non-increasing. Non-increasing is absolutely easy. Uh, right continuous is the consequence of the fact that m is a sigma additive measure. We had a problem like that in one in one of our problem sets. Now. Sometimes people also consider the function n tilde, which is also often referred to as a distribution function, depending on the context. This is a function n sub f, but associated with the function absolute value of f, rather than f directly. Uh, one extra thing which I, I will observe about n tilde function is that this function is constant for negative, for negative values. Now, in relation to the Beg integration, in relation to the Beg integration, distribution function has the following property. Function f is integrable, or to be precise, the, uh, the class of equivalent measurable functions associated with the function f is, is integrable, if and only if the following integral is finite. Uh, although I put here integral in the form as if it's a Riemann integral, it's it's in fact a Lebesgue integral, and the measure here, d and tilde f, it's the measure which, defi which is defined like that. It's the measure which on every half-open interval, defined like this one, it's the non-negative value by the way, and uh, after we do this definition, after we have this definition, we do a canonical Lebesgue extension to the sigma algebra of Lebesgue measurable subsets. Given that the function is right continuous, we will have, or if you do this extension, you will have that this will be a sigma sigma additive measure. And this integral, that's the big integral, with respect to that particular sigma additive measure. In fact, we also had a problem in one of the problem sets which addressed exactly this problem, which addressed exactly this issue. How to construct, the in fact, connection between sigma additive measures and run right continuous functions right continuous non-increasing functions on the real line. Now this statement has some extra extra parts uh, in case function is integrable or in case this one is finite uh, the integral of the function over x can be computed like that. Again this this d and f this is a Lebesgue measure associated with this right continuous non-increasing function via the relation like so. And uh, similar expression for the absolute value is look, looks like this. Now, I will prove it in a not in a direct way, but first I'll just address this identity alone, assuming that the function is integrable. I will just show you how this identity, identity appears from the argument, which I will present. In fact, it will be also clear why we have this equivalent. So first look, let's just look at this identity. So if I want to compute the integral, the big integral like that, we know that will be the limit limit of uh, the big integral of simple functions which approximate your function f uniformly. In fact, we even have the canonical choice for this approximation. Here it is. This is a canonical choice for uniform approximation via simple functions. And this integral equal to the limit of these sums, we know that this will exist given that the function is, limit will exist given that the function is integrable. Now, this measure, given this function definition, this measure can be represented like that. This is just a different, uh, just a measure of those points where f bigger than this. Take take the measure of those points where f bigger than this. And this one, given the definition of nf measure, dnf measure, which is not here but which is similar to the d 
NF tilde measure. This is just a measure DNF of this half open interval. So what I'm saying, in fact, if I now introduce a simple function like this, and that is the simple function which leaves on on real line. It's a simple function which leaves on real line. If I introduce the simple function like this, this function will uniformly converge to x, uniformly. And for this simple function, this expression will represent the the bag integral of this simple function. So by the definition of the Lebesgue integrability and Lebesgue integral, the, this limit will converge to the Lebesgue integral of this function, of this limiting function, with respect to this measure. This measure. And that's why we have this identity. Now, if you look at this argument, you will realize the argument can, this argument can be easily altered, just slightly altered, to handle this equivalence. Because function is integrable if and only if the absolute value of the this function is the back integrable but the absolute value here if you if you just put this absolute value across the argument I just presented all what ch what will change is the absolute value will be here which means here you will have tilde here you will have tilde and that will finish the proof the this integral will be finite when this integral of the simple function like that with respect to the d and f tilde measure is finite and that's why we have this equivalence this identity in turn is just the version of this identity when you replace f with the absolute value and with the extra observation that the d and f tilde measure is zero on the negative half line because of this identity because of this identity d and f tilde measure is zero on the negative half line that's why out of this complete integration over real line, we only end up end up with the integration over positive half line, and that finishes the connection, finishes proof the connection between the integrable function and the associated distribution function, both the direct distribution function and the distribution function of absolute value. Now. The interesting observation is that actually this identity can be extended further to identity like that. And this, this one is just a normal Riemann integral. It's in, oh, you can of course think about this as a Lebesgue integral, but that's the Lebesgue integral with respect to length measure. And because this function is right continuous and non-increasing, in fact this Lebesgue integral will be equal to the associated Riemann integral, something we haven't proved. but it is true. This identity, in fact, comes from the something which is, well, you know very well, but you haven't seen this version of this uh, for the bag integration, something which you know from the first year, which is called integration by parts. And the identity here goes like this. If you integrate a function f with respect to some sigma additive measure over the integral a, b, so this is a sigma additive measure which lives in real line, then you can replace this with the expression like that, m capital of x times f of x, double substitution ba, plus is negative, plus f dash, times m capital dx, where function f is the c1 function, so it's a one, uh, it's a continuously differentiable function, and m, capital M, it's the function which, which is defined like that. I'm not going to prove this identity, but uh, I will leave it for you to check why this identity is true. Uh, just again, I just emphasize on the left hand side here, it's the Lebesgue integral with respect to some sigma additive measure. Whereas on the right hand side, this integral can be treated both ways as a Lebesgue or Riemann integral because the function, the integrand there is a continuous function, or in fact, a uh, right continuous function because m of x, identically to the way this statement is argued identically to that, where m of x will be right continuous function, and f dash, which is, de which is a derivative, will be just a continuous function. Now, if you believe in this integration by parts identity, then this identity is just a simple application of this integration by parts. These, this term in the integration by parts will vanish in the case of this integral, because 
point A here will be zero point, and that will that will vanish because the function f vanishes at zero. In B will be plus infinity point, and this will vanish because m, this one, vanishes at plus infinity point. This is a quick uh, extra comment in relation to the distribution measure defined like that. I have in fact to correct myself uh, because uh, there is a direct connection between the uh, one-sided continuity of the function and the measure which is constructed uh, with the help of this formula on a semi-ring of half open intervals and in fact for the right continuous function in order to end up with sigma additive measure um, we have to define this measure on the same ring of half open intervals, but the intervals must be have must have another structure. They must have the open end on the left hand side, like this. Then this measure, the measure defined like that on the half open intervals having left end open, uh, given that the function is right continuous, will be sigma additive. For the original statement, the function needs to be left continuous. And uh, this is very clear from, uh, the def uh, from the argument I presented when I proved uh, the sigma additivity of the length measure. In fact, that argument works for every construction like that.